Hey everyone, welcome to another ASP video. In this video, I would like to run through some of the more advanced infrared battle features that we have using ASP and, and the Mako contained therein. Uh, in particular, we're going to look at the Remora wireless system and the way Remora transmits wireless information, your battle stat information, back to a central LCD screen. In this case, it's a Manta. Um, this is a prototype Manta board that I've, I've done up. It's, it's quite big, so don't be scared by the size of it. Okie dokie. Okay, so um, basically what we have here, we've turned on our Manta, and it's, it's, it's waiting to connect to the battle system. It's waiting to connect to Remora and Mako situated on our, on our ASP. So let's do that. Let's turn on our ASP. Now, what needs to be transmitted is all the, the um, battle information, how our Mako is set up, and that will happen at the end of Mako setup. There we go. So the Mako's finished setting up. It sent all the battle data information to the Manta there via the Remora wireless link. And it's now ready to scan for any battle, battle data. So let's turn our tank on and let's get battling, or a simulated battle at best. Okay, so our tank is started up, and off we'll go, we'll start our battle, and first thing we'll do is we'll take a pot shot at someone, and straight away uh, your battle data will be updated to indicate the number of, of shots you've had. The number, Okay, we've fired once. Now it's important because ASP and MAKO uh, feature a magazine. Now, in real life, tanks don't have an unlimited magazine, so we have matching magazine limits on, on Mako to make infrared battle more realistic. Um, so again, one of, one of the few systems that have the, your magazine capacity. So let's fire again and we'll see uh, the unit update. There we go. And I'll just keep doing that, you know, until you fire and, and so on. The other thing we can do here uh, is because there's a lot of information stored on your on your Mako there, we want to have a look at how our tank is set up. You can use your trusty Sony remote to have a look at how your Mako is set up, how your ASP is set up, simply by pressing zero. Okay, and that will run through the info screen. So let's do that. Press zero. We have the firmware version, followed by that we are using a, an ASP. We're set to a battle tank mode, medium tank, a unit ID is 007 and we've fired twice. Now the unit ID is another unique feature to RC Tanks Australia. With each Mako or each battle unit, you know, each tank you have, you can set up an individual identification number for it and that will then, when you kill a tank, your number will be displayed and we'll see that shortly. So again, only system on the market that does that, only system that provides unique identification of each player on, on the IR battlefield so that player can be credited with the appropriate kills that they make. So let's, um, let's try that. Let's start killing, uh, killing our ASP. So let's move this guy in nice and close. Oh, there's the other thing. It'll also um, come up with your general health. So we haven't been hit, so our health is 100%. Let's see if we can change that. Okay, you've been hit there, and as you can see, this unit is set up to ID number 741. Okay, so 741 has been credited there with that first hit. Let's uh, keep going. Let's shoot him down a bit more. And the other thing you'll see too there, the H in the screen there, tells you the type of hit. H uh, just stands for, I think, I'm not really sure, that's probably high explosive, um, not the armor piercing round. If you fire a two shot, to me a two shot kill code, um, that will also be registered and, and you will know. So if your battle rules are saying no to me a two shot kill code and someone is cheating, you'll be able to tell because uh, Manta will tell you you've just been hit with a two shot kill code. Let's uh, fire again. <laughs> Because now we're we're two hits away. Third hit will take us over um, over our amount of health, so we'll get a different engine sound, I think. So let's uh, shoot and straight away. Again, 
saw this in another video and once you are more than 50% damaged you will go to a different engine sound, a damaged engine sound plenty of sounds on ASP, plenty of sounds <laughs> nightmare to make up uh, sound sets I can tell you okay so again you're seeing the battle unit identification number and uh, let's fire again the only thing I really won't be able to show you is the repairs because uh, that will just take a, a bit too long but if you were to now drive over to a Bergpanzer and set that into repair motion uh, the tank would be repaired and you'd receive some health back so that's hit number three let's take it to hit number four if I can press the button that's not even the button four hits there last attack by and now we'll finish it off so there we have our five hits unit is destroyed info and start okay so if we press a will give us some of the info and it should also tell us in the top here destroyed by 741 so unit number 741 will be credited with with killing you off so that's a, that's a bit of a rundown on uh, the wireless battle battle well battle data reporting I uh, need to come up with proper names I guess um, and uh, remora and manta in conjunction with your asp Thank you.